point, right? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think it probably says just uh, pages and the 4th of March. So I sometimes write oh. a date in case it's relevant. In, ca in this case, it became relevant because I, oh, right. I started here. There was a kind of, you know, murkiness of my soul. But something started coming through. And then I started writing it in a way that I could read it because I wanted to be able to you know, share it or expand it into an article. Yeah. So sometimes if, if it kind of feels like, you know, like the, it alchemizes the, the or the, 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 the you know, murky stuff composts into yeah. some nutrients, then, then, then I like yeah. to keep those readable, you know. Yeah. And I think maybe that's the distinction in a sense as adults, we always want things to have meaning and purpose. Like it's okay for a child to scribble, but for us, it seems like, oh, what a waste of time. But I have found that too, when you give yourself enough time of scribbling or just letting your mind go free with a pen, then something does emerge. And maybe it's a good time to share. This is the practice that I did um, for years. And it almost always started out with this image. I don't know why. It always started with this darkness on the side and then it came out. And there might be a few pages of that. But over time, then there would be another motion would come out and then things would start to smooth out. And it, I had more pages. This is sort of truncated a little bit, but um, then then there would some words would come, and an image. And then this particular time, it actually turned out to be a little critter. 